In this video I'm going to explain how we can find uh, the median and the quartiles, the lower quartile, the upper quartile, and subsequently the interquartile range. So for this, um, you might be looking at a set of data like this, uh, where we've got our x's, um, they're all grouped, and we've got our frequencies for each. Now the middle number is what is referred to as the median. So the median is the middle number of all this data. And what usually would have happened uh, when we were at GCSE level is that you would work out the cumulative frequency. Now the cumulative frequency would be adding these numbers up as you went along. So you'd have 5, then 5 and 19 is 24, then add on 87. Each time I'm going to use a calculator just to make sure I'm getting these all right. So 24 plus 87, we've got 111. Then we add on 92, so 203. Then we'd add on 52, so 255. And then we add on 29, so 284. And what you would then do is you would plot the middle groups, so 6 and 5, 9, 24, 12, 111, on an XY grid. And the type of shape that you would get would look something like this. Okay, it's like an elongated S shape. So, what you would have where um, the community focus is up to side. So, this would be going up to 284. Okay? And then, what you would have is that you would say, right, well, okay, well, halfway of 284, that would be my median. So, 142. And you would go along to the curve and then straight down, and you'd be able to read off your median value. Okay? When we did this, this was really only an estimate. And you would also do the same if you wanted the upper and lower quartile, because this would give you your 50th percentile, okay, the halfway point. If you wanted 25%, then you would have this value, okay which would be half again, so 71, okay? And that would be your uh, lower quartile, so you'd have your median, and then you'd have the upper quartile, like so, okay? So 71 again, so 213, okay? So... That would then lead to drawing out a box and whisker diagram, or just a box plot as it's sometimes referred to. Okay, and by that you would be able to compare kind of how spread out the data was. Because the interquartile range, the or abbreviated to the IQR, is the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. Okay, so the 75th percent uh, point take away the 25th percent point. And the good thing about the interquartile range, rather than just looking at the range, which was the largest number take away the smallest number, is because the interquartile range isn't affected by extreme values um, out at the very ends. Okay, so it looks at the main block of data, that middle 50 percent, and goes, right, how spread out is this data? So that's what the interquartile range is used for. So what I'm going to do is, because this stuff, that what was done before, would be really higher GCSE, the values of the, inter the upper quartile, lower quartile, median can be calculated using the calculator. So I'm going to show you that now. So this is the set of data that we've just been looking at and I'm now going to show you how to find the median and the interquartile range using our calculator. So what we're going to need to do is go on to stat and then we're going to have to input the data into our lists. So we want this edit part here so press enter. Now we've got list 1 and list 2, that's where we're going to be writing in. Now for list 1, we're going to be writing in the x values. 
but make sure that you use the midpoints. Um, so from 5 to 7 it will be 6, then 8 to 10 it will be 9, 11 to 13 it will be 12, then we're going to have uh, 14 to 16 would be 15, then we've got 18, and then we've got 21. Now press right to go into list 2, and now we're going to write in the frequencies. So we've got 5, then 19, then 87, then 92, then 52, then 29, and that's it. Okay, press enter. So now what we want to do is we want to press stat and find calc. So we go right to calc and then to one variable stats, so press enter. We want, then want to call up list 1, list 2. So list 1, list 2 are down here on top of the 1s and 2s. To get them, you've got to press second first. So second, then 1, we'll bring up L1. Then comma, second, 2, that brings up L2. Then press enter. And it brings up all the information that we need. Um, so if you scroll down, okay, what you will find is that you are told the median value is 15. The lower quartile, represented here as quartile 1, is 12. And the upper quartile, represented here by Q3, is 18. So the interquartile range is the upper quartile take away the lower quartile. And so that would be a value of 6. And that's how we can do it on a calculator.